trans women in biological women's sports. I honestly think it's a case by case basis. Why do you think that it's a, it should be a case by case basis? Because I don't think that they should be allowed in women's sports at all. If you had to rank yourself against others based on a specific trait, what would it say about how you see them and how they see you? To find out, we brought together five conservatives and had them rank each other least to most politically right. Then we had them take the political compass test and rearrange them based on how right they actually are. This is ranking. I'm Hunter. I do security for a living. I believe in Jesus. I don't really go to church, but that's how I was brought up. Also a little bit more libertarian than I am authoritarian. So a smaller government, if any. I'm Cameron. I am not religious at all. I'm agnostic. I was in the Marine Corps for four years. I am very, very pro-gun. I believe it's my equalizer. I will never be as strong as a stronger male, but I definitely have my right to my Second Amendment and will use it if need be. My name is uh, Navneet. You can also call me Navi, like from Legend of Zelda. When, uh, when it comes to my political views, I describe myself as fiscally conservative, but socially I follow more of a, like a paleo-libertarian, like, you know, school of thought. So I would describe myself as a very, like, constitutionalist. I very much so support the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, but I'd be considered more, like, left-leaning on some other topics, such as, like, I'm an environmentalist. I very much so support the LGBT, com uh, LGBT community uh, because a lot of my friends are part of it. I'm part of it. To be more specific, I'm bisexual. Okay. Yeah, and that's also, by the way, the first time I'm saying that publicly. Oh. Well, congratulations. Yeah. My name is Kelly. I am from New York, living in Washington, D.C. I am religious. I'm Jewish. I don't support the LGBT community at all. I'm not anti-gay or anything, but I do support traditional values in the home. However, I don't 100% believe that my religious values have anything to do with my conservative values. I try to keep religion out of the way because I know that there are conservatives who are not religious. I'm Maui. I'm originally from Colorado. I'm kind of like in a weird spot where I grew up religious and I grew up very liberal. I've been back and forth a lot of topics as far as immigration because I'm half Mexican. It's strange because coming from like a traditional Mexican family, they hold a lot of conservative values but they very much label themselves as liberal. A lot of black people that I know and grew up with have like conservative values but like if you ask them like you know who you're going to vote for, it's always going to be Democrat, no matter what. So I find that really interesting that you said yeah. that, because I have like a connection with that. What do you think are like traditional traditions that conservatives hold? Liking guns, I mean, he was painting with a broad brush, it's common sense things. I think support, constitution, like I, I agree with all the amendments. Just the general idea that like you should be able to pick yourself up by the bootstraps and if you put in the hard work, you can get to where you want to be. The beauty of this country, no matter who you are, obviously some, some people have certain factors that will like, you know, make it easier or like harder for them. But I feel like in this country, with the amount of opportunity that we have, you can be anyone and get to where you want to be. This is an interesting question. Like, I don't think being conservative has anything to do with your political uh, affiliation. I think those things are separate and I think a lot of people confuse the two. We just talked about how the black community, the Indian community, the Mexican community, they're all, cause some of them, a lot of them are conservatives, but they're left-leaning. I really do believe, like, I don't care what you do in your life, you're a grown adult, you have no effect on me, I'm not religious, like, don't force your religion down my throat, don't force your opinions down my throat. We can have a discussion, I'm very open to having dialogues with anyone, I love to have conversation. Like, something that's going on right now is, like, the whole trans women in biological women's sports. I honestly think it's a case-by-case -case basis. Why do you think that it's a, it should be a case-by-case -case basis? Because I don't think that they should be allowed in women's sports at all. I agree with you on the, it should be not case per case, it just shouldn't be allowed. Because I mean, we've seen it, I don't know statistics offhand, but people just dominate that are biologically men. So I feel like they, dealing with like absolutes in a general sense, like in the political discourse can be a very dangerous thing. Because yeah. as he mentioned, there are outliers and we always have to, you know, factor those in. So I'm not, I'm not sure I agree with that. But yeah. yeah, I can see where you're coming from. I think my difference is, I don't think that trans women are biological woman. I'm not gonna be a dick. If you want me to refer to you as she, her, I'll do that. I'll call you by your name. I'm gonna give you that respect as a human being. It's okay to be different. Yeah. I don't understand what you guys mean by outliers because they're all men. So what do you mean? I see this as absolute. Trans women are not women, they're men. I mean, I would never like call it ignorance or something. It's just everyone has their own views. I can completely understand that. Should we vote like democratically? I mean, I'm gonna say you're probably a five. Yeah. For me? <laughs> not, not, a bad, not a bad thing, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's not a bad thing. Yeah. One is the most five of the least. I put you, you over there. I put you there. Yeah. Me over here? Yeah. yeah. 
I was thinking you, number three, and you, number two. Yeah, I felt I like... <laughs> is it because of the religion? Yes. I think there are like two schools of thought we can go with here. We can either go with like traditional conservative values, which one of us like upholds it most, which I feel like you would still be the most, like when it comes to like the traditional values you've described, yeah. or we can go by like policy wise, whether, you know, each one of us falls in line and I like maybe don't support every single, you know, policy of like the Republican party or just general conservative positions. So we could go in either direction. I was okay. like, I think you'd be over here. <laughs> just because like when I think of like, and I don't mean like a typical conservative, but when I think of a conservative, I think upholds like, Religion, traditional values. Uh, I can go three. That, yeah. that sounds good. Okay. We're all pro gun, right? And pro yeah, speech of and course. everything. Okay, so we're we're on the same page yeah. if it comes to that, then we can just go into other like I guess policies. Well, how do you feel on like an abortion topic? Well, abortion, I feel like dangerous abortion is gonna happen if it's got rid of and there are I mean, I don't wanna go into a small percentage, which it is, but there are, are late term ones where the mom will die. And then there's also ones where if you, if you make abortion legal, like coat hangers are a thing. It's sad, but it's true. So what if we so, don't count like the extreme cases? Would you say mostly? I think keep allowed? life, yeah, unless it's gonna harm a life, like the mom or the baby. If it's if it's gonna come out and you can predict it's gonna be fine, then we should keep it, uh, children alive. Yes. I guess for me, I um, like I said, I've gone back and forth, and I don't want to be for it, but currently I am for abortion. I don't think anyone wants to be for it, so it's not something that is an easy thing to want to do. I believe birth control should be free. I 100% support free birth control. I think that it would be a, it would have dramatically decreased abortions, but I am very much, we need to fix the afterwards as well. So the adoption agency, I think we need to fix that. And I think we need to advocate more for younger women to know about birth control options that we have. I kind of wanted to bring this up. Is everyone kind of more like an interventionist kind of, you know, thought process or is it like, uh, like kind of like isolationist or even like in between? Like, do you think we should focus on our country's problems first? Yes. Or do Absolutely. You think, okay. Yeah, that's, Absolutely. that's why I stand. Yeah. Why would, how are we going to help other countries when we have so many other things? Yeah. So too much foreign care. spending. So yeah. Well, yeah. Like just, we just spent how, sent how much money to Ukraine? Mm -hmm. Why? That has nothing to do with us. We have so much, that money could have went to America. Yeah, if we're prioritizing that, we can't even like take care of our own people. Like veterans are like starving on the street, they're homeless. I feel like we should do something about that, but we can because we're focusing on other countries instead of our own people who need help. Does anyone feel differently about their position now? I don't know, I think we should switch. <laughs> I really focus on that whole like, he holds more traditional conservative values than I do. I think just yeah, in I, that I sense. Do agree with you. I was like, just in that sense, I would switch us. I think okay. what it was for me is you seemed a lot more passionate and you were more outspoken. I'm you very seemed passionate. a little bit more quieter. So maybe initially I'm like, you know what, you're number two. But now that I'm hearing more opinions, yeah. I would probably agree with switching you to. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're moving. Yeah. Okay. What values does everyone have that they feel like doesn't exactly fall in line with a traditional conservative value or just generally conservative values? I'm against the wall because I'm a libertarian. Okay. I think I think most people coming here aren't coming here to hurt people. They're coming to make money and make a living. I am actually for the wall, but not because I want to keep people out, strictly because I want to know who's coming into this country in a good sense. Sex trafficking in general comes through our southern border, and so do drugs, so that's the only reason. I don't care if people want to come here to immigrate, be my guest. I'm 100% against illegal immigration, and that's not, so I am for the wall, but it's not just the wall. It's the people who are coming here and overstaying their visas. They need to go too. My position is, is unique because I, um, immigrated from Mexico when I was younger, and I wouldn't be here most likely if it weren't for that. But I do really believe that illegal immigration is just that illegal. Now what I'm gonna have you guys do is grab your phones and go on to the politicalcompass.org and take the political compass test. This is pretty good. In the fifth spot, we have Maui. And then in fourth, we have Cameron. I thought it'd be more like two, three-ish area. And then we have Kelly in the third spot. Interesting. What? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I Everybody's said I was going to be three. Yeah. <laughs> in the second spot, we have Maui. Okay. And in first, I didn't expect myself to move up this much, like, yeah, yeah this is like, <laughs> okay, I mean.
the way this like political compass test is framed, like it does evoke certain reactions. So it's not entirely like encompassing of like my views and everything. But yeah, are you I, any of you guys surprised? I don't know. I, I thought I was gonna be third or second. You, in all okay, honesty, I thought I was gonna be over here. Okay. Some of those questions, like I never really thought about before. Mm -hmm. I kind of figured I'd be somewhere over here, like four or five, after hearing everyone's opinions. I mean, I think it's weird that I'm number one and I'm a tall white straight. <laughs> Male. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> if anyone out there who's watching this does not agree with like me or anyone else's political beliefs, please, please just look at us as people. Everyone has flaws. And I just want people to see that we can bridge that divide by just being human to each other. So just spread love, everyone. Just spread love.